All right, y'all. So if you don't know what's going on, KSI, a rich influencer, has actually been caught up in a scandal scamming his fans. He scammed his audience basically by promoting pump and dumps. So he would be swearing up and down, yo, I'm diamond hands on this, I'm diamond hands on that. And then they have evidence that after he made a I'm diamond hands tweet, like a couple of hours later, he would sell. So... The timing was just crazy. The, the, the timing was insane for it to not, obviously we know what it is. We're, we're all adults, we're all investors. We know what's going on. You went from being diamond hands, you tweet about it, the price goes up from your tweet and then you sell. How, yeah, that's diamond hands? Okay, but yeah, like let, let's, let's jump into the video. Um, this is gonna actually be one of his friends take on the matter. And I believe he's going to be defending him. So, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Let's see the, the big KSI defense. And, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. What happened, no prod? What, what's been going on the, the um, internet? JJ's been uh, accused of being oh. a scammer. Oh, uh, yeah, but it was waffle in the end, weren't it? Oh, let me tell you something, actually. Let me I, sc I scammed someone. No, no, no. Let me tell you what I bumped into in the, in the club the other night. Cavos. Where the hell? I've been with you the last whole week. He wasn't in Oman. No, it, it was... Um, I was out for the missus sister's birthday and then it was like we went to this place where you go at like 4 a.m. or whatever. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a decent spot. And he I just saw him there, he's mad tall and turned around, he goes, You know me. And I'm like, Yeah, what God. is that oh, what he that's said? Some no, mad energy. No, no, no it wasn't that. it wasn't like in a bad way. I think it was like more because we never met before and he was kind of just trying to figure out if I knew who he was or Oh, or it was not. like if, a question rather he, than like a, never, you know me. We've never spoken. Right. So he might probably didn't know if I knew him or not or and I was like, shit, yeah. And then we spoke for a bit. It was just one of them classic cases where he's a nice guy as well. Yeah. He's talking about how it was, I asked him, like, I said, fair play for taking down your thing. And he was like, yeah, man, I was wrong. It was wrong, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. I respect enough. that. I, like, I can so respect He does believe that. in, like, he's not... It seems, like, it seems like he believes in what he's saying. But, but yeah, I invited him on the pod. <laughs> I said, come on the pod, bro. Let's chat. Like this top business. JJ, yeah, JJ won't give a shit. Well, why don't, why don't we have JJ on it as well? And they could just Same time, out. they can scrap it out. Yeah. He was tall, though. Was well, he actually he's yeah, a big guy in this camera? Well, at least so. I remember it, but I was waved, but he was tall. Yeah. Um. The The whole crypto scam thing, it was, I don't know. It's, it's uh, I need to actually read about it. But what the, the one thing I will say is that JJ might be one of the most mentally challenged people <laughs> I've ever met when it comes to cryptocurrency. Yeah. Um, I'll bet that. So, it's really tough to, and, and I do mean this in the nicest way possible to him. I I don't think he was capable of pulling off something as simple as a bump and dump. As coffee seller. See, now what's crazy, what's crazy about this? What's crazy about this statement is that KSI is the richest one in their entire friend group, potentially more rich than all of them combined. Yet he somehow too, he, he excelled at YouTube defied all the odds he's excelled at boxing like basically he's excelled at music anything he's ever wanted to do he's accomplished yet he's too dumb i think the the dumb thing is clearly a character because he he just excels at everything that he does he's very much smart enough to know what a pump and dump is he may not be smart enough to read charts and do technical analysis and things like that but he's he's more than smart enough to know how to Put out a tweet, hey y'all, I'm bullish about this. The price shoots up from it, and then he sells to make a quick profit. Like that that's not that doesn't take rocket science. He was smart enough, he knew how to buy the crypto, which means he knew how to sell the crypto. So the only the only thing that you're saying, like he bought the crypto, he sold the crypto, and obviously he can put out a tweet. So which part of this can he not do? Like like which where's the Where's the, the the just mentally daunting task at hand here? You buy, you tweet, you sell. Like, come on now. I mean, you could probably take that task to any to any actual dumb person and they could figure that much out. But hey, Hello. no disrespect to all the dumb people out there. Even though you might not be smart enough to take it as disrespect. Right, let me stop. <laughs> what am I talking about? I just, I just, I, I'll be honest with you. I just don't like because that means he pumped and dumped on his own friends as well. So and JJ's like one of the most loyal guys. I don't see how he would have done this. What's happening? He pumped, and, he pumped and dumped on his own friends as well. Like so, so he, what he's saying is that they all bought after the tweet. If anything, 
I think that they should probably look into the friend to see if the friend sold right as KSI did as well. Because, yeah, it's like, unless this, his friends are still holding these bags or is there proof that his friends were ever even in there? Like, I mean, it's easy to just say, uh, he would have he would have dumped on his friends too. But what's the evidence of that? What we have evidence of is him buying, tweeting, and then selling. What happened then? Did CoffeeZilla take down his... No, he hasn't taken it down. He's, st he's sticking with it. I think at the moment anyways, mm -hmm. there was a guy that came out and like, uh, I, I saw the bad, I'll be honest, I didn't read it. It was like 36 page PDF mm -hmm. and it was sort of debunking why it wasn't a pump and dump. And then uh, it was like, oh, okay. Cause they hadn't shown some of the times that JJ had actually bought the currency. Like he, JJ trades up. I think something people need to understand about JJ is like, he is the most impulsive person you'll ever meet. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not talking like, Oh, one day he'll just wake up. I'm talking like down to like hours, like one hour. He'll, he, like when we, when we were really into cryptocurrency during the, what was called like the bull run. Yeah. He would come to me in one hour and be like, bro, this is the next thing. And literally an hour later, he will, he'll be there. Like, nah, it, it's actually trash. Like Found no. financial freedom. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those. It's one of those things. I I don't know enough about all, all this sort of stuff. I mean, this is a <clears throat> this is this is a common theme. Realistically, if you've been a beginner investor, you know that that's pretty much how people do it. Like that. So if you put money in something, then it starts to go down. You'll sell. You'll panic sell, especially when you're first getting into something. So that could be a valid excuse, except for the. I mean, it's, it's ha it happened consistently. And then you know your status as an influencer. You know your, so why is it coming? Why is this realization coming after you put, on, put out a bullish tweet? So it's one thing to, to change your mind, but why tweet something if you're not sure that your mind is made up about something or your mind can be changed in two hours later? You shouldn't have made the tweet. You could have waited two hours, go down whatever journey you went down, and then you would have just never made the tweet in the first place. You could have bought and sold and never made that tweet. So it just doesn't make sense the timing of when this actually happened. So, I mean, it's cool. Like, his friends are supposed to make him sound good and innocent, to be fair. But it don't really add up. <clears throat> to, to go into it. But I'll be honest. If, if there is something bad that happened, I'm like 99% sure that JD didn't mean for that to be the case. So let's just what put I it like that. I don't get about he, he accidentally did it like what what was it like three times something like that that, that was the allegations against him and they, they have evidence he, he accidentally did it multiple times about this is obviously coffee dealer said about this zach zbt guy he was yeah. waiting for jj to tweet off the account why did jj need to tweet off that account for him to expose it yeah, that's what I he was saying know. he said oh he was waiting for the to him strike to log the back fire in. yeah 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 i don't like yeah, I'm not too sure what it is. Maybe he just thought, oh, JJ's given up on crypto, so there's no need to bring it up. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of what happened, happened. And then when he saw him come back, he was there like, oh, I'm going to let people know that he did this. I, I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of conflicting back and forth going back between the two stories. So it is what it is. It's just long, isn't it, man? Like, so I, all this has happened. I don't think it's anything conflicting going back and forth. It's a fact. He bought, tweeted, sold. That is a pump and dump. He pumped and dumped. The only thing that's in question is his intentions. And you all want to play the he's an idiot card while he's the most successful out of all of you all combined. And he successfully pulled off multiple pumping dumps. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of weird. I mean, the best argument that I heard, I did hear, uh, like, if it was true, like, I don't know the profit margins of what was made off of when he bought and sold, when he pumped and dumped. Because if it was something like he bought, he then it, it went up and he sold, and there was a hundred. Like I think it, I, he said something like he they they accusing him of pumping and dumping for one hundred and fifty dollars. Now if it's one hundred and fifty dollars that that was he was in profit when he sold, maybe that's an arguable case. That like you you can argue that he like putting your credibility and your influence and all that on the line over one hundred and fifty dollars makes no sense. Like he literally makes no sense. He he makes that in the first like couple seconds of posting a video. So yeah, that makes no sense. So that's his only. That's one of the best arguments I've heard, and that's if the, those are the profit margins, the actual profit margins. Happening. Um. Honestly, I was 
looking at memes and stuff on the internet. Yeah, my, my Twitter feed is... My Twitter feed right now life is actually... Stinks, bro. What? Life stinks? No, but in the sense that, like, I don't do anything. You know, do when you, I get home, like, what am yeah. I doing? Yeah, what when do you I'm do? I'm not working. What, what am do I doing? What do you do? Nothing. You know what's funny? Today, I, I, I woke up... I need to do And I got hobbies. that, you know, that Osmo camera that I've been harping on yeah. about. I got it, and I was there like, bro, today I'm just going to vlog. Yeah. I was there like, I might not even post a video... But I just want to have the feeling about making more content. Yeah. Because that's what I have really lack at the moment. Yeah, I feel like I don't make enough. So I woke up this morning. <clears throat> yeah. I got the camera. I said, I'm going to make it. And then the first thing, the camera's out of battery. Yeah. That's and I'm there like, oh, right. Anyway, so I get a bit of charge in it. I'm there like, this is exactly the type of shit. Like normal me would have looked at this and gone, fuck, I'm not doing it today. But I said, nah, don't be that guy. Charge it and let's film some shit. Ask me what I filmed today, Chip. Go on, what do you film? Nish. Good, cause I, ain't I ain't filmed nothing. That'll be the last vlog I ever watch. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you, t- you t- I want to see you vlog though. Maybe I'm not gonna lie. I, I have a feeling in my in my you, deepest chest that I would make good vlogs. Do you reckon? I actually do. It has to be like raw though. That's the wave. Yeah, it is. It is the Randy's wave. Right this wave now. is working in it like that. Just fucking chat bollocks. Actually, just show the day with unedited. I can do that, vibes. man. I can be that. But I also I, I'd like to do it more on like TikTok. Like YouTube sits there. But Why don't you, bro? You're right, man. I got too many excuses. I, ha- nah, I hate you can excuses. Actually, to be fair, why don't you just record it, edit it, edit it? Don't. Put- <clears throat> okay, yeah, I don't know what this is going into. That, that was pretty much the KSI topic, I, I guess. So this was the the whole defense was really like he's an idiot, <laughs> which I don't buy that. I don't buy that scenario. I don't. I don't buy that excuse. So yeah, that that one's that one's not it. But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Do you all think that this was an intentional bump and dump? Do you all believe that the multi-millionaire boxing guy with successful music and successful YouTube channels, like, do you think that he's too stupid to press a buy, tweet, and sell button? Like, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I um, mean, yeah, we're going to end it here, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.